Okay, so you've been to different music competitions yeah. and the likes. So how has it been? How did you start going for these competitions? Were your friends like, okay, you have a good voice, you should go, or you just decided to go? Well, I decided to go because... Um, like I said, music mm -hmm. is my passion. Mm -hmm. I wanted to like I wanted people to hear me, and I knew I didn't have the resources to put myself out there. So mm -hmm. what I needed was a platform. So I had to you know just put myself out there. When I saw the first auditioning, I was like, okay, I think I can do this. I was actually skeptical at first, but I, I told my friend, mm -hmm. and he was like, dude, most of these guys that appear on this TV, they're not as good as you. I'm mm -hmm. very sure that if you do this, you do that, and I did, and. Like that, the you know, first one. Like you, that. you kept on going, going, and yeah. going. What was the drive? Well, I'm I'm a very determined person. Mm -hmm. Everyone everyone that knows me knows that I'm a very determined person. When because I believe that whatever it is that you're able to think and process in your mind, you can actually mm -hmm. achieve. You understand? Sure. So as long as I actually pictured myself on stage with a microphone in front mm -hmm. of so many people, and I haven't achieved that as a then. Okay. So I needed to achieve it. So I kept on going because nothing was stopping me. The only thing that was stopping me was me. You understand? Okay. So I needed to continue doing what I had to do to, you know, achieve mm -hmm. that that okay. picture in my head. Yeah. So of all the songs you have performed so far, yeah. is there anyone that has a hidden meaning? Because there's this particular song yes. you always sing. Mm. So is there a meaning to that song? Which which one of the song? There was one you performed at um, Project Fem. If there's any justice in, in the, the world. world. I will be your man. Okay. Well, it's just it's just a love song, really. Mm. There's really no deep meanings to it. Though we've all been through, I don't know, well, everyone would have been through one or two ups and downs in their relationships. Mm -hmm. But then it's actually personal, the justice, whatever. Okay. And I can remember back at my first audition, um, that song, mm -hmm. I did it. It's, I, 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 the um, Kobam Sasuko actually okay. was one of the judges and he told me mm -hmm. that you have H factor. Mm -hmm. He told me to walk on myself. Oh, yes that he wants me to sing the song again when I come to audition the next year. You understand? Mm -hmm. Though I couldn't audition the next year, but okay. I worked on myself, I worked on, worked on the factor, and when I auditioned again, I sang that same song. Mm -hmm. And it reminded me that years ago, you did this song, mm -hmm. and I told you this, and this year you sang the song, you did it better, so better. I'm gonna give you a yes. Mm -hmm. You understand? Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So I, I decided not to run away from, you know, there's some songs that it's, it's inevitable, your factor mm -hmm. is going to yes. show. Mm -hmm. So instead of being a coward about it, running away and looking mm -hmm. for something to hide, mm -hmm. I, I walked on myself. Took the bull by the horn. Yeah, you understand? I walked mm -hmm. on myself and right now today I can sing that song. And it's a song that relates to uh, my past experiences in my relationship. Mm -hmm. and, you know, so. From a scale of 1 to 10, how good have you, are you now? How have you improved from when you started singing mm -hmm. to now? <clears throat> well, I would say... Um, Eight over ten. Hmm. Hmm. Such confidence. Eight. Yeah. Eight over the reason ten. is because um, when I was on the first competition that I featured on, I did a song, a fella song. Okay. okay. You know, that song is huge. It's a song that could either make you or break you break in a competition. Him. Apparently, it broke me the first time, mm -hmm. and that was actually what got me evicted from the show. Mm -hmm. okay. But I worked on myself, and when I got to the other competition, which is a, a bigger platform. Okay. I got an opportunity to choose other songs, but I chose that song. Mm -hmm. It's actually abstract, yeah? It's different from every kind of song because everyone wants to do R&B and do all the slows, but I decided to choose that song, you know, because I've been working during the years. I, I've been trying to, because I try as much as possible to not run away from anything that has broken me. I try not mm -hmm. to be a coward because I wasn't brought up that way. Mm -hmm. So okay. I try to just, you know, because I know no matter how hard it is, you just have to keep trying. You definitely get it right because practice makes Perfect. 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 So I could say my singing, even people commented mm. on my previous videos from the last competitions that I featured Very on. Good. They're like, like the, the change is so much. Like mm. you've really grown. And it, it didn't, it didn't, I didn't grow by just sitting up. I've been working. I've actually been working on myself vocally. I set a target for myself, you know, and when I'm able to achieve 80% of it or probably 70% of it, I know that, okay, yes, you've done well for yourself, you understand, mm -hmm. vocally. And I roll with a lot of vocal people, mm -hmm. you understand. I try to mimic. I listen to a lot of good singers. I try to just put myself and challenge myself a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's how I've been able to work on myself. And so far, I scale myself. I tell myself, okay, one over 10, how, how far have you gone, you mm -hmm. understand. So that's why I'm able to confidently say eight 
over mm. 10. Mm. <laughs> you right. know, if I was asked that if you ain't doing music, what would you be doing? I'll say you'd be a motivational speaker. You hmm. think? <laughs> About that. <laughs> <laughs> Who exactly do you look up to in the music industry? Mm. Okay. The question is coming differently this time. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I often hear who inspires you and then mm. I'd be like, okay, I, um, I get inspired by every good musician and, you know, I just listen to you because I, I am I'm kind of like a versatile singer, yeah? Okay. I can sound this way today and sound it another way tomorrow, you understand? Mm. I listen to very good singers okay. randomly. But I look up to, in Nigerian music industry, I look okay. up to Timmy Dakolo. Mm. Mm. It, right after watching that cover of <laughs> I Never Know He's my boss. I look up to Timmy Dakolo. Okay. I look up to Tubaba. Mm. You know, I look up to Timaya. Mm. Why understand? Timaya? No. These are the people that they understand their market. Mm -hmm. Now, if you see the transition from the old market to the new market, Timayas and Tubaba have successfully been able to sustain mm -hmm. their market and right. hold on to their audience because True. many people were cut off. I'm not going to call names. We had many musicians mm -hmm. back then back that they then. were not able to you know, scale through and hold on to because the market right now is very complicated. Mm -hmm. We have so many good artists rising up daily that they're looking for every slight chance to just... So you understand. So mm. I know it, it wasn't easy. It's not because they were good. They had to do extra work to be able to, you know, um, fit into the new market. market because the guys coming up now are the guys like we <laughs> that are very hungry. You understand? So you know that we're actually working. So you don't look hungry, though. I'm very hungry. <laughs> You've been in covers. Do you have an original song? Of course I do. Okay. Yeah. You want to tell us about it? What inspired you? Okay. When I got out of um, the last competition that I was on, mm. I actually dropped two singles okay. at the same time. Okay. It's titled "Give Me Time" and "Baby Don't Cry." Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's actually on YouTube. I think it has mm. over nine thousand downloads or thereabout. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Though I didn't really okay. do any huge publicity on it. Okay. okay. I wanted to because I I was trying as an artist as an upcoming artist, it is very hard finding your sound mm. it is very hard having your audience hmm. yeah but if you're able to get it right it is easy for you to sell yourself out and do it right mm. but right now the industry is actually everybody's hungry you just want to be out there but then getting out there you know there's nothing as painful as getting that opportunity and not being ready for the opportunity mm. when it comes I have, I, have, I have a song currently that i'm working on uh, with um, Kobam Sasuko, it's titled Bolanli. Okay. It's dropping soon. And I have another one, Story of My Life, with um, my friend Kenny Black. Mm. It's dropping soon. We just shot a video like a couple of weeks ago. Okay. It's going to be eating the TV soon. So hmm. we're just, I've just been working, trying to put out good stuff for you guys. I'm, to I'm quite listen. excited because I've been waiting for someone to at least use my name to sing this song. So Bolanli. Right. Really? <laughs> Bolanli. Bolanli, right? Your name is Bolanli. Bolanli. You want to hear the I'm song? <laughs> and it, 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 it actually <laughs> sounds like Bolade, Bolanli. No, Bolanli. Bolanli. it's Bolade. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> you guys should obviously don't put me we on this spot. We are going too. to get <laughs> there. Just sing the song, <laughs> then we'll get to that part. Okay, what do I sing? Um, oh my God. Your time okay. starts now. You don't have any time. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. I have found love okay. for me. And darling, just dive right in and follow my lead. I found a girl, beautiful and sweet, and I never knew you were the someone waiting for me, and we were just kids when we fell in love. Are you sure about that? Not knowing <laughs> what it was. Okay. Mm. He's, getting okay. To the, he's getting to that yes. point where he shows himself. Mm. Mm. No problem. I am done. It is but that was for nice. That was like, yes. you, you deserve that. That was beautiful. Thank you. you can join us tomorrow for another exciting episode of Tea or Coffee.